Hello everyone and welcome to game two in a series between Fly and Rudon here on Turtle Rock we can see and um, this time they, I guess they decided to change their colors Rudon spawning as the blue night elf meanwhile we have Fly as the pink orc or perhaps I'm just going blind and that was their original colors to begin with as this game gets underway now Turtle Rock a rather small map if you are not familiar with it, Turtle Rock, one of those maps that have been part of the ladder map pool for quite some time. And it's really been adopted by almost everyone. And it does make a difference on how you spawn. Now, it is possible to spawn close positions on this map. But I don't think that that's going to really make that big of a difference here between Night Elf and Orc. As really towering attempts really don't work out all too well. As you now see an Ancient of War being placed down by Rudon. Rudon looking to do some Ancient of War creeping over here by this creep camp. It is a 3-3-2-2, three, three, two, two. Um, so I believe that it's not enough to give a level 1, or sorry, level 2 to a hero, as I believe a 3-5-3 three, three just barely gives it, and I'm not quite sure about the experience difference. I'm not, I do think that he needs to creep out this creep camp first, but this is rather gutsy of Rudon. Rudon deciding to go for an Ancient of War here and trying to creep out the, the harder to creep creep camp first as we now see both sides will be scouting out and they want to see whether or not their opponent is going to be in close spawns. They're going to quickly set, see that it is not as we now see a Voodoo Lounge and a Barracks come into play. Blade Master already being trained up. We can see that the Demon Hunter is going to be trained up as well. And we're just going to be a matter of time before we see all of this wall completely walled in. Ancient of War sitting here, Moonwell here and here to prevent any harassment onto any of those wisps. Now you can see the Ogre Warrior going to be tanking, or uh, sorry, the Ancient of War going to be tanking a lot of that damage here. He's going to try to get as much damage onto that Ogre Warrior as possible. And that Ogre Warrior, or the, sorry, the Ancient of War is doing a good job of just walking and moving and attacking. It looks like the Demon Hunter is out. And someone asked me, how far does the experience go the exp if you have no heroes if you only have one hero in play any units that you kill and as long as it's not with a tower or a tree does give your hero experience so it has an infinite range meanwhile back over here blade master going over that after that <laughs> excuse me ogre magi here doing a good job wind walking in between these to two troll trappers Going to be p poking apart this one Ogre Magi. Ogre Magi down to 98 hit points already. He's going to pick up the item, which is a very nice item. A pendant of Energy as well. And also getting the Rune of the Watcher as he wind walks away down to 124 hit points. That Pendant of Energy most likely will just be given to the next hero. Um, either the Shadow Hunter or the Torrent Chieftain. A Grunt now making its way, trying to chase after the Archer. The Archer, with a very long distance attack, able to shoot at that Grunt as that Grunt is forced to pull back once again. Blade Master, um, with very nice items, about to engage in the middle of the field. We should be taking the Tier 2 already. Yes, Fly already taking the Tier 2. Meanwhile, down over here, you can see Rudon also taking the Tier 2 as well as the Demon Hunter and Archer um, look across the map and figure out what exactly that Blade Master is doing. That Blade Master may be able to get off an easy kill onto that Archer. Archer down to 131 hit points. Archer now trying to run for her life as the Ancient of War may join in on the fight. No, the Ancient of War is not going to even join in as the Blade Master perhaps going to get a strike and yes, able to get a Windwalk strike there. And now there's that Dust of Appearance. Where is that Archer going to go? The Archer is now just revealed completely. Meanwhile, that Demon Hunter does have Boots of Speed and Dust of Appearance of his own as we now see an Ancient of Wonders being built. So the Blade Master is going to be able to push in here in just a moment. No Ancient of Wonders just quite yet. There's a Dust of Appearance as both sides. There's a Mana Burn. Archer needs to be very careful now running on the inside of that base. And it looks like he is going to hold position or hide right there. Shadow Meld. There's a Windwalk Strike. And oh, the Archer still staying alive. Drinking a lot of Moon Juice to stay alive in this battle so far. Too bad cannot hide out in the gold mine whatsoever as the archer is still just fluttering and dancing back and forth. You can see that the blade master very, very low on hit points as the archer now dust of appearance still on her. And there it is now just uh, once again being completely uh, hidden. And now the blade master is in trouble. Blade master down to 25 hit points. Grunt has nowhere to go. Only the demon hunter is inside here. And oh, the grunt kills the blade master. Beautiful, beautiful play by Fly to deny that experience. And that Demon Hunter does not get any experience whatsoever except for killing this Grunt here. 
But that is a huge, huge play as the Demon Hunter now sitting at level 2, level 1 Blade Master falling at his own brethren's hand in order to win the war. So nicely done by Rudon. Um, I haven't seen a hero deny in quite some time. Very well played as Rudon now attempts to clear out this creep camp here. Perhaps is going to pick up, yes, another Beastmaster and the Beastmaster it should be able to drop in a lot of Quill Beasts as well as we are now going into Tree of Eternity, going into Ancient of Winds as those Grunts are now backing off. Are, is the Beastmaster, the Demon Hunter, and those Quill Beasts making their way inside the base? It looks like it is going to do so as the Demon Hunter simply ignoring and now trying to get some pressure onto the Spirit Lodge. Force a cancellation. The Spirit Lodge has been canceled. The Beastiary is still being built and that may be a bit of a problem as the Beastmaster and Blademaster going at it. Demon Hunter joining in on the fight and there's almost a surround. It looks like the Blademaster down to 43 hit points and it oh does not get taken down. Potion of Healing but is it going to be enough? Um, Blademaster down to 126 hit points now finally backing off. Unable to get all the way back there as Healing Salve will most likely be used. There you go. Healing now as the what the Quill Beasts are trying to disrupt the healing yeah able to disrupt the healing and force the blade master to at least use up another um another token of that um of that what's it called the healing salve another charge of that healing salve as the units are still um just completely fighting you can see that the torrent chieftain does get an endurance aura moves slightly faster blade master still in the back and this is looking very good for rudon rudon playing a great game right now but has to be careful as that demon hunter needs to run away the demon hunter down to 159 hit points he does have boots of speed looks like he will be able to outrun in addition to a quill beast making its way out and so far, so good for Rudon. Rudon sitting at a level 2, level 1 compared to a level 1, level 1. Um, I believe the Blade Master and that Torrent Chieftain should get to level 2 sometime soon. As the Blade Master does have a circuit of nobility or sorry, circuit of nobility and a pendant of energy. Can still clear out this creep camp here though. You're now going to see the Demon Hunter and Archer and Beastmaster on their way out. What exactly is this all going to look like? Ancient of Winds now training up even more units once more as the Demon Hunter looks to push inside the main base or perhaps get a little bit of harassment in. Blademaster down to or still sitting at level 1 as the... What is this? The Demon Hunter now going to be coming in from the north. It looks like the Demon Hunter may be able to do a little bit of a creep jack here and getting a mana burn onto the Torrent Chieftain once again. Torrent Chieftain has a lot of mana with that pendant of mana. And now the Blade Master being forced to pull away as well as the there is a Druid of the Talon joining in on this fight. And now there is Fairy Fire. So Fairy Fire as the Beast or the Blade Master taking a bit of damage and it looks like a Raider may get taken down as well. Both sides fighting, trying to fight it out. Druid of the Talon needs to perhaps go into crow form. No, does not go into crow form as, oh, the Grunt does get taken down. So level 3 or 3 food unit versus 2 food unit as both sides are still engaging. It looks like this Grunt will be able to barely run away as we are now getting into some Spirit Walkers. Healing Salve coming in. Torrent Chieftain now out of charges. It looks as though the, the Beastmaster wants to get in some damage, but is not going to be able to keep up, keep up with that Blademaster, especially with his uh, faster friend because of the help of that Endurance Aura. Demon Hunter still giving chase to that Torrent Chieftain. Torrent Chieftain now uh, getting a little bit lower on mana, down to 318, but with that Pendant of Energy still sitting on so much mana right now. We can now see the Blade Master on its move, on its way out, gonna perhaps try to take down some of these creep camps as well. No, gonna completely bypass them as we should be at tier three. And now that we are at tier three, we should be looking to get a, perhaps a Goblin Tinker. And still, yes, Goblin Tinker has been hired. Pocket Factory now coming into play as the engagement going to go on. This is looking very, very bad for Fly. Fly's going to get caught here, and it looks like a couple units. Where's the Pocket Factory? There's the Pocket Factory now going to engage. Blade Master and all the heroes are quickly going after those units, as now in come some Cyclones as well. So Cyclones picking up some units. Down goes a Grunt. Another Grunt may get taken down. Blade Master now, is he going to get mana burned? No, no mana burn in time. Instead, going after the Torrent Chieftain. Torrent Chieftain at level 1. It looks like this Raider will get taken down. As the what Demon Hunter still trying to battle it out. And really just trying to stick around and get every kill that is possible. Another Raider gets taken down. In comes an Ensnare. It looks like the Druid of the Talon taking a little bit of damage. Being forced to back off. It does get taken down as well. But the trades are just going very, very badly. As we now see, oh, Druid of the Talon was taken down by, I believe, an Ensnare plus a ground attack. 
Blade Master is still up in the air, and now it's going to have a very difficult time, and it is stuck. The Blade Master is stuck. It does have a potion of invulnerability, and it was not on hold position. And that was huge. The seven seconds, he could have easily absorbed seven seconds worth of damage in order to take down that Blade Master. Blade Master now once again in the air and Fly going to be forced to try to sit around and fight in this battle when this fight is not going to be going well for him. There is another Cyclone. As that Blade Master is just still in the air, now going to get surrounded. No staff of teleportation, no way to really save the unit. And down goes, oh, the Blade Master down to 18 hit points, able to barely survive. And now down goes the Blade Master finally. Level 2 on the Beast Master, as what Druids of the Talon may get destroyed as well. Down goes 1. And now all, the Torin Chieftain may get surrounded. This is not looking good. There is also a the Raider as well. So both sides just um, fighting and doing a great job of just neutralizing the Allura player. As a Stomp now comes in, stunning many of these units. Raiders are trying to get a decent surround here. And there is another Stomp. The Torin Chieftain does fall. So Torin Chieftain at level 2 also gets taken down. And now we may lose a Raider as well. The Raider down to 206 or 231 hit points down to 180 as it finally is able to escape negative four total armor additional 17 damage being dealt by any attack that is very very significant as you now see that the the demon hunter going after a spirit walker the spirit walker was in ethereal form in just a moment now going after orc burrows gonna lay down some quill beasts as well to try to absorb some of that damage and it looks like the spirit walker will go down tinker level one Demon Hunter level 2, Beastmaster sitting at level 2. Meanwhile, back over here on the far side of the map, we're going to have a bit of pressure now running in with those Raiders. Those Raiders are very vulnerable as the Orc Burrow down to, what, 100 hit points will get taken down. And now all of those units are forced to back off knowing what is in store for them. Quickly getting off a couple of attacks before those units are able to run away. Twelve minutes into this game, we'll see how this is all gonna unfold. As what? Oh, a poor, a poor, poor druid of the talon getting caught well out of position. He does get manage to get off a cyclone on one unit, but that is about it. As we now see another cyclone come in, and now the oh no no mana burn there. As both sides are still trying to fight out, there is a hawk in the air. The hawk can keep track of that blade master. You can see him taking a little bit of damage there. And now there's fairy fire as well. Level 2, level 3 on the demon hunter, level 2 on the beast master. And the longer the, this game goes, the better it will be for Rudon, as Rudon is going to have a much stronger hero advantage. He's invested into three heroes compared to Fly's two. Fly needs to capitalize on the opportunity that his heroes should be higher level. I say should, as the Demon Hunter is still sitting at level three, one level higher than his opponent. Now, we are getting some cluster rockets. We'll see how all of this is going to work out. More raiders getting destroyed. This is not looking good for Fly. Fly is in a lot of trouble as the raiders going after another unit there. There is another Psy Storm as reviving a dead hero. No, it looks like Fly is not reviving a dead hero just quite yet. One raider going to get taken down. It looks like that raider is down. It looks like another raider may get taken down as well. That raider is currently... Um, what, 300 hit points, 400 hit points going to fall right there. There it goes. And now level 3, level 2, level 2 on the Goblin Tinker versus, I believe, a level th level 2 and a level 2 on the Blade Master and um, a Blade Master and that Torrent Chieftain. Blade Master is still sitting at level 2. Torrent Chieftain is being resurrected. I'm sorry that I missed how that happened as this game gets underway or is now a uh, uh, is just now well underway. Mass Druids of the Talent making their way out. Level 2 Masters. They are going to be able to Cyclone and Cyclone a lot. Neutralizing this high burst damage. Um, Spirit Walker Raider Army. As all of those units are currently unarmored. So they will take even more damage. You can see the Demon Hunter now coming in. And now where is the reveal? In the Beastmaster has a Hawk but is not using it. And that Blademaster able to sneak by. 
And that is going to be very bad news as we now see the Druids of the Talons are going to start pushing in into the main base. We are now 14 minutes in and still no expansions to be had. You can now see another Cyclone come in. There is one Hawk in this group. Spirit Walkers are laying, lying in wait. The Tauren Chieftain, oh, is able to slip by and that was a huge mistake. Huge mistake as now we see the Tauren Chieftain engaging here and you can see how much damage is being dealt. One does get destroyed. Another one looks like it will be able to teleport out from there in the middle of the air druids of the talon goblin tinker once again making their move it looks like the mastery training has been upgraded so we are going or has been upgraded for quite some time as we now also see that the druids of the talon with very high damage can easily destroy um, a lot of a lot of heavily armored units. The problem is is that those grunts or sorry those raiders are not heavily armored. They are just simply medium, and they are not going to take bonus damage. In fact, they are going to resist the attacks. As we now see the ogre magi attempting to take down that ogre warlord here inside the base, you can see a couple of raiders trying to come in and sneak attack as well as the beastmaster and goblin tinker look to put in a bit of pressure and is going to join on this party just a little late as the units are all now finally backing off and do not want to engage. Back inside the main base, we can see um, a lot of units just floating up in the air. Demon hunter sitting at level, I believe. Um, three right now should be able to get to level four as this engagement over here and the Beastmaster might be in trouble. He is ensnared. There's a pocket factory. Both sides still engaging as there is another ensnare once again. Raiders are going to get destroyed. Beastmaster is still sitting at level two. Needs to get more experience somehow and it looks like yes the Spirit Walker does go down. It looks like Raiders could easily get taken down as well. It, all it's going to take is yeah another one of those hits there and now that Torrent Chieftain is all that is stands in the way and it looks like Fly. Oh is he going to get his bowl? And that is the question. There you go once again lifting off. It looks as though this one Spirit Walker is going to try to run away as this guy over here, Torrent Chieftain, down to 47 hit points. It does get destroyed. Level 3 on the Beastmaster as this game still is continuing. Ensnare on the Demon Hunter off over here. Looks like it is just going to try to uh, pick up or and take down some more units in transition. There's another unit in transit as the Blade Master isn't even worth mana bending or not mana burning mana bending mana burning anymore gotta take a quick break after this game yeah so still blade master and demon hunter both sides are still pursuing both sides are still engaging goblin tinker and another raider and grunt gets taken down there there's the cyclone and the blade master seen at 175 hit points is going to get surrounded and oh is it going to perhaps get mana burned what is going to happen there is the scroll of town portal in order to save it as we now see raiders starting to pillage rudon's base i believe and rudon losing a lot of hit points there as two wisps now make their way over and those raiders are going to be able to escape Fly sitting on a large amount of minerals, not so much in the terms of gas. As this raider is going to land and have a very bad day with that druid of the Talon welcoming party. And down goes the raider as we looks like we're going to be starting to try to establish some expansions now there is an ogre warrior here so it's going to take a little bit of time to clear out that creep camp meanwhile no one has really done any true expanding as of yet there is the expansion attempt now raiders going at it um, what raiders blade master torrent chieftain and spirit walker going at it it looks like it will get taken down as the demon hunter arrives to the party first and is going to take a look around. Is it going to get a mana burn? Yes, it gets a mana burn off. And now ensnared by the raiders. As the engagement happening off over here. Speed scroll now being used. And is it going to be enough? As there is a quick stun. And now two cyclones brings up two raiders into the air. As the demon hunter. Um, as the units are still trying to chase after this demon hunter. It now just trying to chase after all of those units there as we now see what is going to be happening here shadow hunter going to be able to rip through many of these uh, many of these units here as the shadow hunter now trying to push back and destroy the rest of the orc army all right give me a moment All 
All right, welcome back. Sorry, I had to take a little bit of a break there. As we now see Rudon and Fly still going at it here. You can see now Rudon getting to level 4 on the Demon Hunter. Both sides still battling it out. And it looks like a lot of damage being dealt. A little bit of a stun there. As in comes another Cyclone. And this is looking very, very bad for Fly. Fly taking a lot of damage in this engagement. There's going to be a Scroll of Town Portal now being used by the Torrent Chieftain. And able to use it just in time. Reviving... A, a hero from the tavern in order to buy a scroll of town or in order to get the scroll of town portal and that was absolutely huge the tauren chieftain able to keep the rest of that army alive as it looks like that what the gargantuan sea turtle has been taken down level four level three level three against what is going to be a level three and a level three hero and that is not looking good for fly especially as this engagement now looks like it will be coming in once again a little bit of a creep jack once more there is an ensnare both sides dealing a lot of damage and you can see the demon hunter taking a lot of damage right there we are going to perhaps no we are going to get now another surround here it looks like the demon hunter will get taken down down to 100 hit points it is ensnared and it does get taken down as well and now in comes the Beastmaster. Beastmaster looks like it's going to get taken down. And finally getting a Scroll of Town Portal used. And that was a huge, huge loss as Fly looks like he will be able to perhaps try to creep out this creep camp. There is a couple of, what, Druids of the Talon over here. In come a couple more in the Snares. In Snares now being used once again very effectively in order to surround and take down units. And down it goes. Fly picking up a potion of lesser invulnerability. You can see now another ensnare coming in. The demon hunter was able to be resurrected ever so barely. Staff of preservation unable to be used in that last engagement. As we now see the hero, Tree of Eternity back over here. Where are those heroes? And I don't see where the heroes are. There's the Beastmaster there. Is the Goblin Tinker being resurrected or where is it? Not quite sure as we now see the Demon Hunter with a Potion of Lesser Invulnerability himself. And now Fly quickly getting back into this game. Going to clear out, clear out a little bit more of the creep camps here. Take down the Giant Sea Turtle. And it looks like some long distance mining is currently going on as level 4 on that Blade Master. And what is going to be happening? It looks like the main gold mine has already been destroyed here and here as well. The Tree of Eternity, still both players sitting off of one base. As we now see the first Fairy Dragon now being trained up. And now the Blade Master getting another Wind Walk. And it looks like level 2 Wind Walk and level 2 Critical Strike as the engagement now going down. Goblin Tinker, um, Beast Master, Tink what? Goblin Tinker, Beastmaster, and that Demon Hunter about to engage. And now Fly looks like he's going to be able to creep out a little bit further. And the Ogre Lord may get ensnared now. Spirit Link now being used. The Ogre Lord is going to get ensnared. Not even really going to fight back here. One of the strong abilities. But now in comes another Creep Jack over here. There is what that Demon Hunter is in a little bit of trouble overextending himself. And now in comes a Potion of Lesser Invulnerability. And now in comes some more. Um, just more attacking left and right. There's another Disenchant coming in. Goblin Pocket Factory now being used as well as a lot of damage. A Scroll of Healing now being used and a Stomp coming in. Demon Hunter now using a Scroll of Healing to try to save himself just a little bit longer. And now another Ensnare coming in. Rudon does have, I believe, or did have a, a, a Fairy Dragon over here as the Demon Hunter is now getting surrounded once more. Down to 260 hit points. Both sides in comes another Stomp. This is not looking good. Potion, Demon Hunter using a Potion of Healing just in time. But is it going to be enough? Is a key question that Demon Hunter down to 70 hit points, down to 5 hit points and it looks like it does get taken down as the beast master is now taking its place and now a scroll of town portal being used by that beast master level four and what happened there staff of pro oh, now gonna go, go back over here and now try to take down this gargantuan sea turtle able to teleport back as that tree of eternity now looking to entangle this gold mine here and now what is going on did that where did that one um, the Demon Hunter was actually, I believe, Staff of Preservation away. That was a huge, huge Staff of Preservation as the Tree of Eternity now going to entangle this gold mine. Goblin Tinker does have, I believe, the, the Beastmaster, one of the heroes, has a Potion of Lesser Invul or Full Invulnerability there. Meanwhile, Torin Chieftain does have those Warsong Battle Drums. Going to clear out this creep camp as we now still see even more long distance mining that Walk of Shame coming in from Fly as the Wisp will be able to entangle this gold mine in just just a moment and what is going to be going down potion of invulnerability on that beast master both sides with a lot um, a very very large army we're going to see how this all unfolds here 43 over 50 compared to 37 over 50 fly now going to get to level four and perhaps level five on the blade master level four level four right now level four level four and level four across the three heroes here 
as the Ancient of Wars are now just sticking close by and now and finally entangling this gold mine, perhaps going to train up another Wisp, get it up and going as we still don't see any real creeping going on anywhere just quite yet. There is a, what, um, a Wisp off over here and now we're seeing still some more long distance mining. Goblin Tinker staying v relatively close to this Tree of Eternity as what is going to go down here. The Demon Hunter still sitting at level 4. The Beastmaster is now very, very, um, still very low on hit points no real way of healing no rejuvenation no um drew or sorry ancients yeah ancients of lore so we are not going to have any druids or any rejuvenation whatsoever as the game does get underway we are using another moonstone in order to just try to fill up these moon wells and also getting a potion of healing as well most likely on that beast master yes and we are going to have a bit of an engagement in just a moment as what both heroes are very low or all the heroes are low on hit points at least the orc side is and we'll see how this engagement is going to go down Torin Chieftain and that Blade Master, both sides very low on hit points. And now in comes the units here. Going to be able to get some easy damage onto some of those peons. Those peons now trying to run away. Cluster Rockets getting in some more damage here. And damage is being dealt across the board. One peon down, two peons down. As another peon may get taken down. No, it does not get taken down. As the Raiders are now looking to engage back over here. There are three Ancients of Wars staying very very close by making sure that they are able to fight back and take down those raiders if those raiders try to do a bit of a push not that much surface area very very difficult to try to take it down especially with those ancients of war being able to attack and deal a lot of damage to that normal armor there and now in come the raiders and the spirit walkers attempting to take down all these moon wells the moon wells um, are, are going to be pretty vulnerable and now in comes a fairy dragon there and now in comes a battle here what is going to go down both sides battling it out the demon hunter very low potion of lesser invulnerability used at just the right time and now using that cyclone ever so perfectly those raiders are going to be forced to engage and now a potion of lesser or a potion of invulnerability being used Beastmaster may use a potion of healing as well. There it goes. Quaffs another one. Potion of lesser invulnerability once again being used. Demon Hunter is in a bit of trouble. May use a staff of preservation. Is it going to come in in time? No. Not going to come in in time at all. But the raider does get taken down and down goes to even some more heroes. And still, as Fly is still up in the air, what's going to happen? Torrent Chieftain down to 341 hit points. Once again being Psy Cycloned up into the air. Goblin Tinker may perhaps be able to get us around. Torrent Chieftain down to 345 hit points. Beastmaster is getting ensnared, and this is not looking good. In comes a stun. Blade Master, and it looks like Fly is going to be able to just barely, barely hang on to this and perhaps come out with the win. No, the Torrent Chieftain. Wait, what just happened here? Um, it looked as though the Blade Master, Torrent Chieftain, level 5, going to get in the stomp. It looks like it's going to get taken down. Um, Is it going to get taken down? Yes, it gets taken down. And now, um, what is going to be happening here? Goblin Tinker still... Um, still nearby, Blade Master unable to really get that much damage in, and now just go dealing a lot of damage. That Tinker with a lot of hit points, able to absorb a lot, and now the Blade Master down to 358. The Goblin Tinker running away using some of the po or some of the juice from the Moon Wells, also has a potion of healing, and Fly may have miscalculated that. And wow, what a qu quick, quick exchange in the final, final moments of that battle. And that game there and Rudon able to take the victory and now force a game three. So stay tuned for game three and in this best of three series between Rudon and Fly.